We use the environment as a vehicle to teach history and math. They were excited because they understand why they're learning. There actually is a practical application of what they're learning in their classroom. Living Classrooms is an educational nonprofit. Pretty much everything that is taught in a classroom, we try to bring alive on our boats. We started off in 1985, so it's been over 30 years in Baltimore and over a decade in the National Capital Region. These students that come out on the shipboard program get a really hands-on experience. It's one thing to do it in the classroom and, you know, learn about the watershed or plankton, but to actually, you know, dip a plankton net in the water and scoop some up and look at it right fresh out of the water in the microscope is just such a unique experience. So, now we have water in this instrument, and this instrument is called a refractometer. The kids are free to ask as many questions as they want and really get curious with things. What is it feel down? It feels like a shoe. <laughs> One of the most important aspects to our teaching method that goes all the way to our founder, Dennis O'Brien, is using a questioning or Socratic method. What do you think the adductor muscle does? Uh, it gives you strength. It does. It gives the oyster strength to close yeah. its two shells. You can not only engage students' lives, but you can guide them to an answer. And then they get really excited when they figured it out. Many of them, it's their first time getting out on a boat on the water. One of the big goals we have is to teach them about the broader area, the Chesapeake Bay watershed. We try and point out their school on the map and show them how everything is connected, really. Students come from school classrooms where they have a lecture style. If students haven't been out on the water often, they don't have any form of stewardship. So our goal is not only for them to gain knowledge and skills, but to have an appreciation of their environment and someday become stewards of that environment. Most Title I schools can't afford the trip or the bus, so we're very appreciative to Honda for providing us with funds that allows that to happen. Books can't do anything to touch this experience. The kids loved it. Hands-on, taking them out of the classroom to experience it, like real life setting, that's what they need. When you put a student behind the wheel of a vessel like this, and that student takes the boat off the dock, they feel empowered. It's tremendously rewarding to get them engaged and excited and bring learning alive. <laughs>